Hello. In this video, we'll learn how you can use NCD vibration sensor with the Node-RED. We'll cover a few topics. One, how to view the data, how to set up the sensor. Two, how to configure the sensor. And third, how to read the raw data or process data. To set up a Node-RED is pretty straightforward. You click here and you set up your COM ports and your type of sensors. Over here, you will see a lot of settings. Uh, uh, all these settings are greatly covered in very, very good details in the part manual, but I will still go over and talk about each of the settings. Sensor type, over here we select the type of the sensor we are using. Auto config and OTF config. Auto config, if you have set to both of these, it means when every hour the vibration sensor sends a command called fly, F-L-Y. It means like, hey, I'm gonna stay awake for a few seconds and during this time, you can send me all the new settings or if you wanna change anything in my settings, send me those commands. So in order to do that, you need to select these two. Now, the good thing about this one is that you don't have to push the buttons. You can have it remotely installed and you can still configure the settings over the air. In this case, I'm gonna change where I want to send data, my node ID and delay, no, delay should always be zero, my power, retries and mode, process data, measurement mode and all these settings. Once I do that, I'm going to click done and I'll press reset because at reset, it will send a run packet, fly packet and then all the data packets. So I'm going to press reset again so that we can see all the settings. The first message was run. The device said, hey, I'm in run mode. Then it sent a FLY message. FLY message contains all the settings. Keep in mind, this feature is only from where 10. Hey, these are my baud rate, my mode of operation, and all my settings and all those here. Now I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna change some settings. So let's say I'm gonna change this setting to 180 byte, deploy and confirm. These settings will apply the next time device sends the fly mode. We don't have to wait for now. So I'm just going to press reset and I'm going to wait for this string to apply. So device sent a run packet. It sent a fly packet. A fly packet had data 150 bytes. Once the configuration is complete, we should see this should turn change to 180 because we changed that by parameter. config results. Now I'm going to check the payload and sorry, this message OTF, it means this was the message which contained all the settings, now change to 180 bytes. So it means the setting went through. Now we should also see a data packet which is here, which also contains all the data from the sensor, time ID, uh, probe because we requested raw data and you can see all the raw data here. We'll talk about in a second how we request raw data. So this is all the raw data from this particular sensor for all the access. The mode was two, it means device also sent a process data, which is here. As you can see, this is the process data. So this is a very basic mode, but now the really think about it, like how do you request raw data? So for that, this flow is one which is requesting the data. So the key component is inject, and over here you have to add the MAC addresses of the sensor. And then you have to go and go check device. In my case, I'm gonna using a two probe. So if you're using a two probe, use this one and if you're using a single probe or type 80 or 84 uncomment this one and comment this one so how does it work like device since that process data after sending process data it stays awake for a second and during that second the node will send a command like to request the raw data and that's how it works. Now, this is all set. I'm gonna go ahead 
and press the reset button one more time and we'll see send the run packet is going to apply all the settings once you are done with settings if you want to change setting every single time it sends a fly then you can just unselect it then and deploy your node flow and that will make sure it does not send all these set these all these settings every time One very key piece of information is if you're using type 84, the standalone smart vibration sensor, you do not need to open the box. Uh, you can use a magnet on the side of the sensor to press the reset if you want to press reset button. I will add this flow on the GitHub page so you can just copy paste and then use it, modify as you wish. Thank you.